everything's expensive and everything's costing me money. So I don't even know why I wanna know about this. Hi, me again. And yet one of my new favorite hobbies is going through the money saving tips I find on newspapers. And it turns out the Sun have the most comedy ones. And um, I stumbled across this one and I thought it'd be interesting for us to have a chat about today because um, yeah, things are surprisingly expensive at the moment. And if we can all save a few quid by having a laugh, it's worth doing, right? Have a look. Money guzzlers, the 10 most expensive household appliances to run and how to slash costs. So I thought we could go through their 10 that they've got here and I haven't read them all, I promise. I never read these things fully. I just skim them to see if I want to talk about it because I like to react the same way you'd react when you first hear them. So we're going to read their money saving tips and then I'm going to give you my own no nonsense version of it. Let's have a look. What's number one? Right. Dishwasher. £10.30 a month. A dishwasher is one of the most energy hungry appliances in the kitchen and costs UK households £10.30 a month on average to use. However, there's lots of debate over whether it's cheaper to hand wash your dishes. How is that a debate? Of course it is. How could it not be? Wash them every night and then it'll be cheaper, right? Or wash them in the bath. That's a good idea. You've got to have a shower instead of having a bath now because that's so much cheaper. So why not take your dishes with you in the shower? Two birds, one stone, same soap. Winner. Actually, I can actually see people doing that quite soon. It sounds like a joke, but you can, you, <laughs> I can see it. I can see it happening. Boiler, £78 a month. You can often cut your boiler cost by adjusting the flow temperatures for your hot water or central heating. One thrifty saver saved over £90 over six months with this trick. We have an electric boiler and it's got like a display on the front with the temperature of the water. And we found that if you turn it down a couple of degrees, it saves a fortune, an absolute fortune. And you know, if you've got one of them ones that has the big hot water storage tank, I can never remember the name of the thing. I used to have it in my old place. Turn it down, turn it down a little bit. Or don't, don't run the immersion heater so hard. And instead of having a full power shower, Half power, half the water, half the cost to heat the water. Simple. Fridge freezer. Those with older fridges and less efficient derated fridge freezers could be paying up to 13 quid a month to run the appliance. God, that's a lot, isn't it? You wouldn't think it would cost 13 quid a month to run an old fridge freezer, would you? Back in the day when I was on benefits and absolutely skin, and when I never had nothing in my fridge, when I left the house, I'd turn the master electric switch off so there was no power coming to it. It's all good, I didn't need the thing. Oh, I had no food in the blooming thing. One of the things we've done is now, when the weather starts changing, we'll turn the temperature notch down a bit because it doesn't need to run so hard, does it? And the other thing is if you've got one of them boxed in ones, it's gonna use more power because it needs to vent the hot air from the back. So it works, it works like an air conditioner. Your air conditioner has a big blowy fan thing, doesn't it? Or a pipe that goes out the window. We need that for the fridges. So if you can ventilate the back of your fridge a bit more, it will use less less power because it doesn't, it can dissipate the heat easier. That's what I was told anyway. Kettle, £9.60. On average, it will set you back £9.60 a month to use your kettle for 15 minutes a day. They need to get a faster kettle then if it's taking them 15 minutes to boil some water. But that is surprising, £9.60 a month. Now I don't mind paying that because life wouldn't be worth living without tea. It just, it just wouldn't, would it? But I said in another video of the money saving tips, the missus is a plumbing nightmare for this. We've got a litre and a half capacity kettle and she'll brim the thing up, put it on just to make one bloody cup of instant coffee. I'm like, you crazy woman, you cost me a fortune. You only need to boil what you need. There's a minimum thing, put it on a minimum. <laughs> yeah, you should always only boil the minimum amount of water that you need. And also, if you're, like, if you're boiling veg or whatever on the cooker top, Use the kettle to boil the amount of water you need rather than letting your heater boil the water, like the cooker top heater, oh, where I that from? Cooker top to boil the water in the pan because that's going to use way more energy than the kettle and put the lid on the pan as well. Mrs. Don't do that either. She boils bloody carrots and stuff without the lid on. Like, you're wasting energy. These are the fun conversations that we have in our house. Laptop, £1.56 a month. At £1.56 a month, it may leave you surprised to know that there's still savings to be made. So I reckon you can save up to £4.87 by not leaving the charger plugged into the wall, even without the laptop connected to it. But I don't charge my laptop at home. I've got quite a good little, I've got a little Mac thing, look. I've got quite a nice little laptop. 
And do you know where I charge it? Because the battery on this lasts for like eight, nine hours. I don't watch telly at night on this and everything, right? Charge it at work. Use their electric, let them pay for it. Oh, it's four in it. I charge my phone at work as well. I'm not charging all my stuff at home using my own electric. I even take a power bank to work. Charge that up in case I need to charge my laptop or my phone at night or something. That's how tight I am. Let them pay for it. They don't pay me enough anyway. I hope they don't watch this. Mobile phone, 44p a month. Ah, oh, they're just picking at it now, aren't they? Do people really care about saving 44p a month? I guess if you look after the pennies, the pounds look after themselves, as my old nan used to say. I just charge it at work. Take your phone to work and charge it. If you can't, if you don't have any work at the moment, and sadly that is quite the case for many people, try the library. I've charged laptops and phones up in the library before, no problem. Television, 3.45 a month. It's the standby that does it as well. We've got quite a power saving telly. I'll tell you one of the things we've got are these remote control plugs that you can control from an app on your phone. And um, I have all the telly stuff, so I've got what have I got? I've got a telly, I've got a PS4, I've got an old Nintendo Wii, I've got an Xbox, I've got the sound bar, all of that over there. And we have it just into one of them plug board things. And then on where it goes into the wall, I've got one of these remote control plugs. And you can put it on a timer or you just do it on an app on your phone or you can just press the button on it. Kills everything. Kills everything dead. That's what we use. I reckon we save a lot of money. Save a lot of money with that. And the same in my little home office. I've got all my computery stuff, all my camerary stuff, all connected onto one plug board with one of these plugs, and I can just kill it at night. I reckon that saves quite a few quid, you know, I really do. Standby does cost more money than you'd think. Have a look at these plugs. I'll try and dig a link to the ones that I bought in case you're interested or want to see what they look like. Put it in the description below. If you happen to click on it and buy some, I might get like 20p kickback or something, but don't feel pressured to do so because it doesn't matter. Washing machine, £14 a month. For a typical family of four, using a washing machine could cost you £14 a month or £168 each year. Use someone else's then. That would be my money saving tip for that one. I'll just take my washing around my mum's. And I don't use a tumble dryer. Those things are electric eaters. Eaters of electric, aren't they? But yeah, there's not a lot you can do about the washing machine other than make sure it is at full capacity. Don't bother doing a half load or anything like that. And if you've got an eco button, press it. And um, try and save money on the powder. That's expensive, isn't it? Same as the dishwasher tablets. It's insane the amount dishwasher tablets cost. Get the box of the powder. No branded stuff. It's just the same stuff. And it's a damn sight cheaper. That's what I'd do. Well, I just thought that was fun for us to talk about today. And have you got any money-saving household tips? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've got some funny ones, if I can get 10 more of them, I might do another video. I might do a part two to this with your 10 funny ones. I'd quite enjoy that. I'd quite enjoy that. It makes a nice break from doing the telly license stuff, doesn't it? So let me know yours down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.